Good morning. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm in my bed in Florida, just sitting down. I've been um reading my Bible and just giving God praise, you know, giving him thanks and just honoring him for sparing my life. I've seen God. I've seen God hands on my life many times. A lot of us I've been through a lot of things. As I told you all, I've been a victim of rape and was one, two or three times in Jamaica. It was several times. A lot of us allow pride to not talk about what have happened to us as teenagers growing up. I grew up in Maxfield Avenue. You know, I spent a part of my life there. I was born in Galena, St. Mary. I went to Kingston. Um... Simply because my, my mom and dad, you know, used to fight a lot. And because of that, my mom would run away to Kingston. And our dad took us there. And we were back and forth from there. The first day, I, I, I end up in a place called Freeman Lane. I remember I kicked a ball. Because at the time, I liked playing ball and like, um, you know, making carts and them things like Tomboy. And I remember I kicked a ball over a zinc fence and when I went to get it, a man hold on to me and said, Jenny daughter, this, you're pretty man. You're brown and you're browning. And I scream out and that was when he let go of my hand. Now I'm here. You see how me plot up my head, man? Right now I have nothing to hide. And, and we need to rise up in Jamaica. We need to rise up as women. I've been so mad, you know, I, I got a, a message on, um, via WhatsApp some weeks ago and it, it just caught my heart. I mean, I don't have kids. I don't have children. But as you know, I adopt a few, you know, and, um, I am so hurt. I'm so hurt and mad about what's been going on in Jamaica. Come on now. I'm a survivor of rape several times, several times. And I even use the same sex. To, to make myself famous as Lady Saw, simply because I wanted to get my family out of the ghettos. And people thought, oh, she's a sex goddess. You know, yes, man, she loves sex. Da, 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 da. No, I was saying what you all wanted me to say, because that was what I thought sell at the time. But let me tell you something, man in a Jamaica. Come on now, I wish woman pushing her out. Come on now, me's a Christian woman, but me a geared raw. Me's a radical Christian no man. Come on. Wow, uno fear do uno own daughter them, uno own stink, but uno mother, uno sister. Come on now. Who gave birth to um, to man like uno? Eh? Come on, have you ever taught her? Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? Oh my God, your mother bring you for nine months in our womb, in our gut. And you're going to tell me, say, you kill off, you rape and kill? Come on, me is a victim of rape. I can't have children, not on my own. Yeah, I got pregnant several times, but guess what? IVF. Because what? Because of what you did to me. Men like Uno do to me back in the days. Let me, it made me have such a hard time. It was such a hard task to get pregnant naturally. Because you robbed me of that. You robbed me of that. But now you're taking our lives. You're taking our lives. Listen, just, just, just watching a man disrespect a woman. Not sit well with me. And you're telling me that you're, you're raping your own daughters. Because I know, you know, say, Uno have picked me, you know, some of have picked me, you know, some of have daughter and say, oh, me love me daughter, and if a boy touch me daughter, oh, gunshot, but then you're doing that to another mother, another child, hmm? you're robbing them of their innocence, you're robbing them, you take away them life. What is wrong with you? Don't you think there's a God? Don't you know there is a God? We are a God-fearing country. We grew up knowing that God exists. And when we have problems and with tribulation, we go up on our knees. What wrong with you know? What wrong with you know? Come on, rise up now, Lisa Anna. Come on. Rise up, Portia Simpson. Come on.
Come on, women, powerful women, we need to fight, we need to march, we need to rebel. Come on, come rebel against them, man. Call them, man, animal. Why? These men couldn't be normal men. I remember I was set up by a friend one time. You know, there was a guy who I liked by the name of Dean. And he liked me and I thought that was my little boyfriend. You know, my friend, I was waiting on my girlfriend, Joan. I was waiting on her at her, her boyfriend place, you know, in the ghetto. And I remember she come and she and her boyfriend come and she keep telling me that Dean called me down the road. I say, I'm not going down there, so, you know, bad place. She keep insisting that Dean call me. And after a while, I thought she need privacy, so I walk go down there. No, it was not like that. It was a setup. My own friend, you see, uno woman, we are set up uno friend. Uno fi face it, you know, uno fi face it. You know something? When you think about the Bible and the Moses law, you remember the Moses law them? You remember even David, David sometimes in a, in a pray, pretty prayer for, you know, for, for him enemy them. And, you, you, you know, it's, it's like a knife and a knife, you know. You understand? It's like David law. It, it, it's like we, we need to go back there.